Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a search directive form. So let's get started. So first of all, in the admin module, I'm going to create a new component. So let me open here the integrated terminal. And name of the component that is a search hyphen car. Let's create this. And you can see component created successfully. Let me close the terminal. Let's go to our admin routing module.ts. And here I'm going to register the search car component. So let me add here the path that is a search. And here we need to load component that is a search car. Let me import here manually. Okay, so let's save this. Let's go to our app component.html and in the nav bar of the admin, I'm going to add the new button that is a search. And here we need to add the router link that is a slash admin slash search. Let's save this. Let's go to our UI. And you can see here the search button. Let me click on this button. And you can see it's navigating us to search car component. Let's go to our search car component.ts. And here I'm going to write the functionality to create the reactive form of search car. I'm going to initialize variable that is a search car form. And it will be a from form group. Let me add here the constructor. And here I'm going to inject form builder. And here in the curly braces, I'm going to call this dot search car form is equals to this dot fp dot group. And here in this block, I'm going to declare the inputs that we need to get from the HTML. So first one is a brand, and it's by default null. second type transmission and here last one that is a color so let's save this let's go to our search car component.html and here i'm going to add the html code you can see here the html code where we have our different inputs first one is a drop down of the brands second is a type color and the last one that is a transmission and you can see the button where we have a this method so let me copy this method name let's go to our ts and here i'm going to create this method that is a search car and here i'm going to add console.log to print the form value into our console so here we need to call this dot search car form dot value and after that we need to bind our reactive form with the html so you can see the property that is a form group let me add here the variable name that is a search car form. And after that, we need to bind the inputs with our TS. So you can see here the form control name on the ng select tag. I have added here brand. And you can see here the form control name with type, color, and the transmission over here. Let me declare all of these arrays in the TS. So let's go to our post car component dot ts let me copy these and here i'm going to add after that where we have a list of brands list of type list of color and the list of transmission let's go to our ui and you can see here the error let me copy this property that is a is spinning and let me add here that is a is spinning and we need to make it false let's go to our ui let me refresh the component and you can see here where we have a reactive form of search car with the inputs brand type color and the transmission over here 
let me open here the inspect let's select here brand and the type color and the transmission let's click on this search card and you can see here the input values that we got from the reactive form so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video in the next video we will call a search car api from spring boot in angular if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye